have always heard that if we cut hair horizontally, it builds more weight. And I really wanted to see if that was true. And so the first thing I want to tell you is that one of these sides is cut horizontally and the other one was cut vertically. So I'm going to take and measure this, really look at what is this shape? What is it falling into using something that's absolute, which is geometry, uh, to see what shape this hair is in, okay? Okay, so that looks like the basic shape right there. And I'm going to place my protractor here. and it's at 50 degrees. And it is also 50 degrees. So both of these are falling into 50 degrees, even though one was cut horizontally and one was cut vertically. So is it true that cutting hair horizontally creates more weight? And the answer is it depends on your cutting angle. So both of these were cut at 90 degrees and I'm going to show you the side that I cut horizontally and then I'm going to cross check it vertically to see if it looks the same. So this is the side that I cut horizontally. So I'm just gonna take this section. I'm gonna place my comb right there on the head shape. So I can see the head shape very clearly. And I'm holding this hair at 90 degrees from the head shape. Okay, so here. That's my cutting angle here. But if I take it vertically and look at it this way, I also see that that is 90 degrees cutting vertically. So in reality, it's the same thing. It's just knowing what angle you're cutting at. So um, I just, you know, I never really paid attention to that. There's a lot of things that we hear in the hair world um, that we just take at face value to be true. One of the things that we think of as common knowledge with hair cutting is that 90 degrees will create layers. So anything between 90 and 180 degrees creates layers. So what I wanted to show you here is that all of this was cut at 90 degrees. So if we look at the shape of this, does that look like layers or graduation? And so there's a lot of things that we have been taught, that I've taught myself, that we just take at face value to be true. And so my challenge to you is to question everything. Question everything you hear from everybody and ask, is it true? Um, do experiments. And that's what I'm going to be doing. And so you see this mannequin's got all kind of crazy stuff going on. On um, the day after July 4th, which July 5th, 2 o'clock, I'll post the links in the comments. I'm going to be doing a one-hour class with question and answer. And we're going to just do some experiments like this with the vertical or horizontal. We're going to include that, but we're also going to be looking at um, when would I, if they're the same thing, and we just saw that they are, 
when would I want to use one over the other? Uh, why would I want to use a horizontal cutting angle versus a vertical within a haircut? We're going to look at different cutting angles and what they fall into based on not just the head shape, because of course I, I teach head shape matters, but this system is much more than just the head shape. It's also about the length of hair because the length of hair changes how heavy hair falls. So it's just not, not just the cutting angle or if you cut it vertically or horizontally, but also if you, the length of hair, what length is the hair? And I've got on this mannequin that I'm going to be showing in my webinar, but two inches, three inches, four inches, five inches, six inches, all cut at the same degree but how do they fall differently because of the length of hair? The other thing we'll be looking at is, does it fall differently if it's higher up on the head? So if we have a vertical plane or we have a diagonal horizontal plane, does the hair fall differently according to where it is on the head? So uh, those are just some of the things we're gonna be looking at so that we can just geek out, just nerd out on hair cutting. Look at some of the things we believe to be true, see if they are true, do experiments, have fun. So um, I'll be posting the link uh, in the comments and I hope you'll join me.